Okay, this will be the first of not one, not two, but three videos titled How I Was Wrong About the Browns This Year. In fact, this guy, he's sort of my, I love, I love his face, the green there. He, he brings the papers where the, I really should, wants me to eat them. This first one, boy, is this an embarrassing one. I wrote after the Steelers game at midseason that I didn't really want the Browns to fire Hugh Jackson. It was no endorsement of Jackson. It was simply that I feared, feared an interim coach. Of course, at the time, I didn't know how Hugh Jackson and Todd Taylor, the offensive coordinator and head coach, were just going at it, internal discord, as was called by owner Jimmy Haslam. So anyway, this column ran. The next day, they fired Hugh Jackson, and they fired Todd Haley, and thank goodness we could at least recycle it, so that's two firings, and that went in there. And then they had the press conference, and I'm sitting there, and I'm feeling like this guy, or worth, what a doofus I am. That's before they even played a game, because I just didn't realize how those two guys and the coaching staff were going at it all the time. A tip-off should have been watching Hard Knocks, when Todd Haley is questioning Hugh Jackson about guys sitting out practices during training camp, Jackson's coming back with his infamous, now we see, you know, I am the head coach here, I drive the bus speech, which we heard later on. Off to the side in that video, you saw Greg Williams. During this whole time that Haley and Jackson were going at it, Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, just kind of writing stuff down on his legal pad, totally ignoring these guys. As the scene ends, the two coaches, Haley and Jackson, get up to leave, and Williams stands up says, defense meeting, five minutes. He walks out the door. And maybe that was part of the reason when John Dorsey decided we got to get rid of both Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley, that Greg Williams got the job because he stayed out of all the internal discord. I love that internal discord thing. He was just doing his defense. And then he came in, and I'm sure there have been other really terrific um, football examples of an interim coach. Bruce Arians did a very good job taking over in uh, Indianapolis when the head coach had, was ill. But some people say Marty Schottenheimer was an interim coach, but no, Marty would not take the job with the Browns in the late 80s unless he had a contract for the following year. An interim coach, you know, usually it's like you're in and you're out and nobody pays attention to you. Well, Greg Williams comes in, and what's he do? He goes 5-3. and three. Two 5-1 and one without Williams, 5-3 and three with Williams, and that's when Freddie Kitchens moved up to offensive coordinator. So, A, I was wrong about the seriousness of the Jackson coaching deal. Secondly, I was wrong that an interim coach – could do well with the Browns. So I don't think Greg Williams is going to get the job with the Browns. I think he should be a more serious candidate than they seem to indicate he is. But I've got, an, I got a job for Greg Williams. Help me with this, fans. Now, by the way, it's, it's nothing wishing the Browns ill, but right now Cincinnati is considering Hugh Jackson to be its head coach. Hugh Jackson. If I own the Bengals, if I'm Mike Brown, I, I also serve kind of as my own general manager. What do I want Hugh Jackson for? You know who I want as head coach? You got it. Greg Williams. Bring him down here. Let him clean this mess up like he did in Cleveland. This isn't to say Williams is a great coach. My sense is the Browns think he is sort of a short-term fix. But I'll tell you this, in the short term, he helped fix the Browns along with Freddie Kitchens. And if I'm running the Bengals... Hugh Jackson, why? Greg Williams, that's who I'd want to talk to.